Kumar Gandharva or Shivaputra Siddharamaya Kamkalimath pronunciation Kum R and D R the 8th of April 1924 to the 12th of January 1992 was an Indian classical singer well known for his unique vocal style and his refusal to be bound by the tradition of any gharana the name Kumar Gandharva is a title given to him when he was a child prodigy a Gandharva is a musical spirit in Hindu mythology Early life and education Gandharva was born in Sulabhavi near Belgaum, Karnataka, India in a Kannada-speaking Lingayat family. By the age of five he already showed signs of musical genius, appearing on stage at the age of ten. When he was eleven, his father sent him to study music under the well-known B. R. Diodar. His mastery of technique and musical knowledge was so rapid that Gandharva himself was teaching at the school before he had turned 20. By his early 20s, Gandharva was seen as a star of music and was praised by critics. He married Bonamati Khans, another vocal teacher at Diodar's school, in April 1947. Soon after, he was stricken with tuberculosis, and was told by doctors that he would never sing again. He was advised to move to the drier climate of Diwas, Madhya Pradesh for his health. For the next six years, Gandharva endured a period of illness and silence. Doctors told him that trying to sing could be fatal, and that there was little hope of recovery. Stories of Gandharva in this period depict a man lying in bed and listening to the sounds of nature around him, birds, the wind, passing street singers. They also detail how he would hum to himself, almost inaudibly. Hess speculates that this was the beginning of Gandharva's radical new conception of the Nirguni Bhajan, which celebrates a formless Nirguna divinity. In 1952, streptomycin emerged as a treatment for tuberculosis, and Gandharva began to take it. Gradually, helped by excellent medical support and care from wife Banamati, he recovered and began singing again. However, his voice and singing style would always bear the scars of his illness. One of his lungs had been rendered useless, so he had to adapt to singing with a single lung. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Career. His first concert after recovery from his illness took place in 1953. The illness greatly affected Kumar's singing in later years, he was to be known for powerful short phrases and his very high voice. Kumar also experimented with other forms of singing such as Nirguni bhajans devotional songs, folk songs, and with both ragas and presentation, often going from fast to slow compositions in the same raga. He is remembered for his great legacy of innovation, questioning tradition without rejecting it wholesale, resulting in music in touch with the roots of Indian culture, especially the folk music of Madhya Pradesh. His innovative approach towards music led to the creation of new ragas from combinations of older ragas. His style of singing attracted considerable controversy. Veteran singer Mogubai Kurdikar did not consider his velambit slow tempo singing interesting and his own teacher Diodar criticized some aspects of Kumar's singing but their relationship was strained from the 1940s when Kumar Gandharva married Banamati. According to Pandaranath Kolhapur's book on Kumar Gandharva, Diodar was against the match. But the criticism mostly centered on his velambit gayaki. His singing in faster tempos, particularly his mastery over Madhya Laya, was widely revered. Kumar Gandharva's first son, Mukul Kamkalimath, was born in 1956. After Banamati's death in 1961 during second child's birth, Kumar married Vasandhara Shrikande, another of his fellow students at Diodar school. Vasandhara Kamkali formed a memorable duo with him in bhajan singing. She also sometimes provided vocal support to his classical renditions. Their daughter Kalapini Kamkalimath would later accompany both her parents on Tanpura. Some of Kumar Gandharva's ideology is carried forward by his son and daughter, as well as students such as Madhup Mudgal, Vijay Sardeshmukh, and Satyashil Deshpand. Kumar Gandharva Foundation Mumbai has been formed by his student Paramanand Yadav which works in development of Hindustani and Carnatic music. Kumar Gandharva's grandson Bhuvanesh Mukul's son has also made a name for himself as classical singer. For a long spell, Kumar Gandharva's activities as a musician were managed by his friend and tabla accompanist Vasanta Charikar. 
Acharikar was Vasant Desai's assistant in the 1950s but later devoted himself fully to his role as an accompanist to classical singing until his death in the late 1970s. Kumar Gandharva had friendly relations with noted Marathi literary couple Pula Deshpande and Sunita Deshpande. Kumar Gandharva was a musicologist as well. During his period of illness, when he was advised complete rest, he used to spend time contemplating on different aspects of music. He had his own thoughts about many different ragas, styles of rendition and different types of composition. Kumar Gandharva was awarded the Padma Bhushan in 1977 and India's second highest civilian honour the Padma Vibhushan in 1990. In popular culture The fourth movie in the series of four movies in the Kabir project by Shabnam Vermani features the life of Ganda Rva and his disciples, his career and his journey into Nirgun singing. His song Sunda Hai actually forms the title of the movie Koi Sunda Hai, Hans Akila is a 78 minutes documentary on Pandit Kumar Gandharva made by Films Division Govt, of India with interviews with various people, wife, friends, students. Mukam Vashi is a book made on notes collected during a two-day workshop of the same name. It collected together the thoughts of Kumar Gandharva on the nature of music at a fundamental level. Notes Bibliography Rigava R. Menon, Avinash Pazricha The Musical Journey of Kumar Gandharva. Vision Books. ISBN 978-81-7094-475-1. Hess, Linda Singing Emptiness, Kumar Gandharva Performs the Poetry of Kabir. Seagull Books. Vimana Hari Dashapande Between Two Tanpuras. Popular Precaution. pp. 70-84. ISBN 978-0-86132-226-8.